What's good internet, Faded Gamer, and I'm here today to bring you a review for the new DLC, well kinda new, it came out last month. I've been kinda dragging my feet with it because I've been playing a lot of Red Dead Online, but more about that in a later video. Right now I'm here to talk about the DLC Turf Wars, the second DLC for the Spider-Man 4 video game. It was fun, I gotta say, there is some parts I liked, but I'd have to say overall it was slightly disappointing. I mean, I'm, I'm sorry with the stuff that I, I was disappointed about, which is the obvious. Which is actually the same thing I was disappointed about with the first DLC was that it's kind of short. I mean, it's... there there's I'd say if you added up all of the side missions all together, you get maybe like three to four hours of actual gameplay if you played all of it. Which is, which is good, but what I would like, would have liked to see was at least an extra 30-40 minutes of the main story. I mean, it just ended so abruptly, but this time I was kind of ready for it. I was, I was ex kind of expecting it to be sure, and it was kind of, it was. But aside from that, oh, and also, maybe they could have added a new gadget or so. But that's a little bit less of a critique, though my biggest complaint is the fact that it was short. And I'm hoping that the next DLC will actually be a little bit longer seeing as it's the final one and I hear them say that they weren't really the developers weren't gonna focus on any other DLC but that may change. I'm hoping it might change. But yeah, they said they said that this was gonna be the only DLC that is coming out, these three updates. But with that being said, I kinda wanna go into the positive. I've been kinda talking a little bit of a negative. What I that was what I really do like about this DLC is that They've actually done a little bit more with the, the little spider bot instead of having some side missions. They, they've, they've actually increased it now to have a couple other side missions but it's a part of the main mission and like you're using the whole radio tower frequency thing too. Like, I like how they're using different little mini games already within the game to make a new, a nifty little new like mission which is cool. I liked it. I mean it's a good way to do something new with the already existing mechanics in the game. One of, the, one of the other things I really like, I mean, even though the story was short, I, I like to enjoy, I do enjoy it because of, because of Yuri Watanabe. Like, I liked her as a character in the main story, she was alright, but I like her now because there's a little bit more character to her. She's been fleshed out a bit more, I, I should say. And that's kind of what I've liked about these DLCs, even though they're being short, they do some good character building for, like, like they'll add in a new character like the Hammerhead, he's, he's, he's an interesting guy. First I found him a little unremarkable but after after playing through the DLC I've come to like him. He's a ruthless villain, you know someone like Spider-Man should be taking down of course, he's a villain, mob boss, who's cool but well, the character that really stood out was Yuri Watanabe. Seems like this was her DLC in a sense like there's a bit of foreshad some obvious foreshadowing of her f kind of like fall-ish and I wonder if that's going to be something in like later games like a sp like the Spider-Man 2 or something like that. Should that come out? Will she be like a villain or will? wonder how that's going to play into either that that and the upcoming DLC because there's going to be more about that in the next DLC. I don't know if they're going to bring in Black Cat for the final DLC. I think that also might be something that may happen for a second Spider-Man game, but it's 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 okay. But with that with that being said, I actually I, if I were to rate this new DLC, I'd give it a 7 out of 10. It was fun, the story was interesting, just slightly disappointed because it was short. And with that being said, I'm going to end the video here. I hope you liked it. It was just a short little video talking about what I felt about the DLC. And I'm sorry it took a little long because I've been playing a lot of Red Dead like I said earlier. But I'm the Faded Gamer and I'll see you guys in the next episode. I'm also going to probably be making a Red Dead Online video either sometime at the ending of this week or next week but I also gotta get back into For Honor but anyway I'll see you guys later